And the Pacific Northwest may not be the most geologically active part of the continent in terms of the number of events, but it is the most dynamic and geologically diverse. It's the only portion of the United uh, States that is affected directly by a subduction zone where one of Earth's plates is grinding over the top of another one. And it's a very dynamic environment and uh, as you can imagine, a lot of things happen as a result of that. The Cascades run north to south uh, through Washington, Oregon, and Northern California and basically make a long line of volcanoes which parallels this convergent margin where the two plates are coming together. So as long as we live over an area where we've got a, two plates converging, one diving down into the mantle, there will always be earthquakes and we're always going to have the, the generation of magma and the formation of volcanoes. And here at WSU we have a long history of investigations involving geochemistry into the way that the magmas uh, behave and what causes the volcano to erupt. And it's rather like a forensic examination of a crime scene or even a corpse for that matter. There are clues in the physical material, and in this case the volcanic lava or volcanic ash, and that can tell us about the processes that lead to volcanic eruptions. And it's really, once you're able to really tie all of this together, the seismology, deformation of the volcano, how it changes shape, and then using these geochemical techniques that we can really start to understand what's going on with these uh, eruptions, hopefully slightly before they occur. One of the things um, that we're currently pursuing is to look at the distribution of elements within single mineral grains among the uh, products of super eruptions, the volcanic ash that comes out. A super volcano is simply a very large volcano that produces very large eruptions. And there are a number of super volcanoes in the world that we can confidently predict will erupt in the future, but we just don't know when. There's a uh, possible area around China Lake in California and in the Pacific Northwest, possibly even the, uh, the Three Sisters region. Yellowstone, of course, is another one. There have been three super eruptions from Yellowstone in the last couple of million years. Preliminary results indicate that some of these processes may take place on a time scale uh, perhaps as short as five to 20 years before a super eruption. The next stage of the work would be to try and figure out what uh, signals of those processes we might see at the surface. This would be a first step, but we're very far from being able to make the prediction itself. It's important that we do so because um, as sure as the sun will rise tomorrow, there is absolutely no question that there will be another super eruption somewhere on, uh, on Earth within the next several thousand years, or certainly several tens of thousands of years. The effects will be so devastating that it's important that society have warning, even if it's uh, the warning is several decades or a century um, ahead of time, society may need all of that time to prepare. <laughs>